Hello everyone, it is Lucy here and I'm back with another video. In today's video, we are doing another part of our Fay Farm. It's part number three. And if you were here with the last part, we completed the Alaric quest, which I'm not sure if it's still glitching out for people, but how to fix that is you just unpin it and repin it. I did put out a YouTube short on it. So that way there you can kind of see what I did. I just kind of unpinned it and repinned it. And then I was able to open my inventory and give him the broiled fish. So I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure if it's still glitching out for people, but that's how I fixed it. So let's go ahead and meet Alaric. I think we're supposed to meet him over at the Thorn so that we can get that magic wand from him. So hopefully we can kind of clear some things out. I'm not really sure how this works, but let's go ahead and jump into the map and then I'm going to go see him. All right, you guys, so we're here at Alaric. So let's see what he says. Hi, Hi Lucy Games, glad you're here. Oops. I wish more Azurians were into magic. Sometimes I talk too much about it and their eyes glaze over. Now, I don't normally recommend anyone work all night, but times are dire. Come meet me tomorrow over by the biggest patch of thorns. We'll test out the staff's toughness before we tackle anything magical. All right, so what I'm going to do is I unpinned and then repinned it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try to go to sleep and see if tomorrow it will make it, you know, reappear. So that way there we can meet him by the thorns. So let's go ahead and do that. Alaric and I met where the thorns were the thickest. He presented me with the oddest magical staff I've ever witnessed. But looks can be deceiving. Because the thorns began receding. The jumble should be afraid of my new power. Good-natured Azorians need no longer cower. You've got a magical staff. Press L or R to equip it. Okay, cool. Return to Alaric for the rewards. Okay, let's go to him and return to him so we can get the rewards. A peacock butterfly. We have to enter his house, probably. Oh, there he is. It's you, Lucy Games. I'd be better at making schedules if time wasn't so fiddly. Hi Lucy Games, glad you're here. Chapter two completed. I do my best to work under pressure. We um, don't get a lot of that on Azoria though. Azoria has got a lot of wild magic. It's my job as a wizard to bring some order to it. All right, cool. So chapter two is complete. Okay, so I went into the map and I'm just gonna go to Frida cause she's the next one that has like the exclamation point. So I'm assuming that's where we need to go in order to get our next quest. So we're gonna go to her next. Okay, I already got the peacock butterfly. Well, hi there. Ugh, those thorns were such an eyesore. Good thing you took care of them. Tell me, Lucy Games, have you gotten to know Azorian neighbors better? If you haven't, I could give you some tips. I'm a bit of an expert. Wonderful. Well, a good relationship is like a tasty soup. It takes many ingredients, patience, time, and stirring things up. The last one might not sound like it belongs there, but trust me, it does. <laughs> now, relationships generally come in two flavors, friendships and romances. To build a friendship, try spending time with people they love having chats. Your friendship will develop, and eventually some people will even want to become your bestie. You can have as many best friends as you'd like. Market vendors are generally too busy with their crafts to maintain any real relationship, but there's plenty of other people on the island to get close to. Some special residents of Azoria are looking for romance. You can chat with them, help them with gifts, and eventually go on dates. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> One day, if you play your cards right, you can even get married. Oh my gosh. Not that you have to, of course. You decide if you want relationships or not. Why don't you go out there and make a friend? Then you can come back and tell me all about them. Nice. Okay, is there anyone else that we need to get a quest from? No, I guess we just have to kind of go make friends. Um, so I guess I kind of do that. Okay, what is in our inventory that we need to kind of look at? Okay, how do we get like our... I wonder how we get our money. Maybe um, it just kind of automatically goes there because I remember putting out like fish and stuff in the market I'm assuming it just kind of automatically goes there there's the mayor um 
Let me see. Oh, there's a Lorik. Okay. You guys should come besties with him. Gosh. All right, let's go down here. Actually, wait. That's the dock we came in on. Okay, that's the mayor. And then over here is where the tables are. Yeah, I guess they just kind of get taken. Um, actually, maybe we should keep... should keep some because I want to make friends with people well I can always go to the beach and pick up pick up some more okay all right I'm gonna try to chat up with Alaric and see if we can get our friendship up with him first uh, and that way there we can kind of make friends and see um, what we need to do okay you guys so what I did was I just kind of went around and started collecting everything and then um, I went ended up going back to my home because I put some stuff up for sale which it looks like it did sell because I have some more gold um, to open pearl shop I need like over 2,000 gold so I was just trying to like kind of sell things it looks like it's gonna take me a while to get to 2,000 gold <laughs> unless something you know miraculous happens um, but I did end up going to sleep and so we unlocked chapter three so I have to go and check my mailbox so I'm gonna go and do that um, but like I said you know just kind of went around and and made sure that I was you know collecting some things dear Lucy you've done a fine job with the thorns and I think you might be able to help with something big come and find your old pal Eddie I'll be standing by the docks looking out to see Eddie the Mariner okay so we're gonna go talk to Eddie uh, but let's see if there's anything. Oh, and I did find the customization mirror. I don't know if it, hopefully it went onto my inventory because I didn't actually place it down. Um, it's actually probably in my building items. Actually, let's go see in my house first and see if we can put, place that customization mirror. Um, because it looks like you can kind of change your outfit, change your hair color, um, change things. So I'm going to place it down, I think, in here. Let's see. Uh, let's go to build catalog and furniture okay where's the customization mirror because i did oh right there okay oh i do have to make it okay yeah i guess i have to make it so i have to find some items which i haven't discovered yet um let's take that off all right i'm gonna go talk to eddie Hello there. Have you been exploring yet? Island's got a lot of secrets. Ready for the finding? Ah, <laughs> oh, Lucy Games, thank you for coming by. I have a tale of shiver to tell you. It started one night when I was sleeping in my bunk aboard the Grace. Grace is my ship. And a fine one she is. Well, she was. I woke up that night to soggy socks. That wasn't so bad. But when I rummaged through my sea chest to find another pair, I was full of fish. That's when I realized Grace was caught up in a vicious whirlpool and she was going down. I grabbed my lucky fishing hat and leapt into the cold waters. Furiously, I kicked the sw swam. I kicked and swam. I reached the shore. I looked back and watched my Grace sink beneath the waves. I grabbed my lucky fishing hat and leapt into the cold waters. Furiously, I kicked and swam until I reached the shore. I looked back and watched my grace sink beneath the waves. Ah, but I can always build another ship. What I can't do is fill bellies with fish I haven't caught. I can't let the good old folks of Azoria starve. They're counting on me to provide delicious fishies for their chowders and dishes. You've still got that rod have you? I gave you, right? Do you think you could increase the market's fish supply? Oh man, fishing is so boring. <laughs> Can we talk to him? Ahoy! Once caught a tuna that was so big I nearly swallowed my ship with me on it. Fed a whole lot of town for a week. Open shop. Fishing level three and I need 1,000 gold. A strong fishing rod for advanced anglers. Okay. 
sturdy rod. New almanac entry, sturdy rod. Okay, so I'm gonna fish for a little bit. It is very boring. Um, okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably fish a little bit just so I can catch three fish. It's kind of boring because it does take a little bit for you, for you to even catch one fish. I can't even imagine like trying to catch three. Um, so I'm gonna fish for a little bit and then uh, I will be back with you guys. Okay guys, so I fished, um, I caught three fish, and now we have to return to Eddie for our rewards. Hopefully we can kind of get an upgrade, hopefully, of our fishing rod. I don't know though, um, but I'm gonna meet you when we get to Eddie. Oh, we got mail too, so let's go and open our mail first and then we'll meet at Eddie. Dear Lucy Games, my apprentice and I have noticed you preparing to explore the mine. Have you considered the benefits of carrying potions with you? They're light, convenient, and very useful. Should you encounter anything dangerous, come visit our shop and learn about our selection of potions. They're the next best thing to have a healer in your pocket. Stay well, Vera the healer. Okay, so we can go and visit her shop after we visit Eddie. You look like you got your sea legs, Lucy Games. Now, which is the tastiest fish of all? Hi, Lucy Games. I can smell the fish from here. You've done well. I'm telling you, I'll turn you into, an, into a mariner yet. The town will eat well tonight, thanks to you. Oh, we got a lot of um, gold. You know, I should probably introduce you to my sisters. They own a ranch in the Plains of Plenty. Taking care of farm animals can be very fulfilling and also plain filling since they make so many tasty things like milk, eggs, and cheese too. I'll always love the sea, but I'll lick a loach for some cheese head on over to Erling's shop the cluck and dough she and loretta have been carrying on the family business for of selling and breeding chikus and cottontails nice go meet Erling the rancher oh i wonder if we're gonna get some animals all right i'm gonna go meet them um and see if we can get maybe some chickens or something because i did see that in the game so maybe we might i don't know we'll see Hello. I love watching the blossoming trees in spring. Beauty of a day, eh? What can your pal Erlene do for you, stranger? Your name is Lucy Games and Eddie sent you? Well, he must have gotten down off his high seahorse if he sent you to us. Now, my sister and I can tell you everything about raising an happy and healthy animals on your farm. I've been holding on to the key to that coop near your farm since no one was using it. Here, you can have it. Your coop can house the roundest of fluff balls, the cottontail, and my personal favorite, the chiku. After you purchase an animal, you need to register it to your coop ledger. This is important. If an animal isn't registered, it won't know where, it ho where its home is. You can also use the ledger to rename them only if you want to. Loretta names our animals and I think she does a pretty good job. Now, this is a big step. This is another another living creature that is now under your care. You need to let them out, feed them, give them attention, love them. So are you up for the challenge? If you are, you can buy one of my chikus and then register it to your coop ledger. Buy a chiku. How much is a chiku? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> How much is a chiku? Hi. Springtime is when I go looking for mussels on the beach. They're easy to find. Buy, sell. I have a chiku and cottontail for sale. Also, if you bring me these types of animals, you may sell them here. Buy an animal. How much are they? 200. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think I need to like do this one because this is the... Oh gosh, big peep. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's adorable. Okay. Um, register the chiku in your coop ledger. I don't want to get too many animals. Oh, there it is. Okay. If you want to prove to me that you're serious about raising animals by a chiku, then register it at your coop ledger. All right, so I'm going to go to my coop, I guess, and just see if I can register it there. Okay, you guys, I found the coop, so it's kind of like off to the side of the house, kind of down the stairs a little bit. So I did find it. Um, register here. Um, oops. Okay, so I registered him. 
food and petting use. Okay, so if I go in here, I just want to make sure like I know how to like feed the animals and stuff. I'm assuming I think I think they're okay. Pet. Okay. So I'm not going to get too many critters. Um, I'm just going to get a chicken for right now. Maybe in the next part we can get a rabbit. All right. So I'm going to head back to Erlene and just let her know that we registered our animal and they're good and they're, you know, being taken care of. So we'll do that. I keep trying to get these, uh, you know, little scrolls every time I see them. So, oh my gosh, there's like, like sheep and stuff. Sheep. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of these thorns. I wonder if we can like maybe unlock more animals as we get higher up, but these are so cute. This is their rancher. Oh my gosh. Oh, hold on. I wanna get this. Hello. I saw that paths are clear again. Thanks for that. Another satisfied customer. I bet your new Chiku is over the moon to be living with you. Now, don't you forget to give it lots and lots of attention. Maybe you can walk it down past Eddie and ask him when the last time he walked a fish, huh? <laughs> now that you've got your little Chiku, it's time to hand you over to my sister. My dearest Loretta, over there is excited to meet you and talk to your ear off. So I wonder if we talk to her, if she'll give us like cows and stuff, oh my gosh. I love this. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go talk, but I really wanna clear these thorns as I see them. Um, so now that we have that magic wand from Alaric, we can, oh, no, this isn't them. I thought this was the other uh, farmer that's up above. Before you arrived, it had been a long time since we had a new face in Azoria. It's just lovely to see you, Lucy Games. I'm going to teach you about feeding animals. It should only take a couple of minutes. I'm sure you're not too busy. You've bought your first animal, now what? Now you need to feed your animals. You see, if you let your animals outside and there's grazing land around, they'll nibble to their heart's content. If there isn't enough grass to graze on, just plant some. But even in Azoria, not every day is a good day for animals. Some will go indoors if it's raining or snowing, and can you blame them? On days like that, you'll want to feed your animals with fodder. Put the fodder in the trough and your animals will eat it. Different animals like different kinds of fodder. So try cutting all sorts of weeds and grass. Why don't you go ahead and cut some weeds to get plant fiber and load it into the trough in your coop? Oh, okay. So it's teaching us how to, how to do that. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh, look at these little chicks. Oh, look at the chicks. I love them. Horizontal board fence. Okay, so I'm gonna head back to our. Who's this? Why does she have like an exclamation point? Hello. Springtime is when you go looking for mussels on the beach. They're easy to find. Quest. Welcome back. You have the look of someone eager to learn. Learn to speak Chiku. Can't say I ever thought I'd try, but I never needed more than a friendly wave to call any animal near large or small. Your wave emote is just a thing you'll need. Whenever you're in the area of your farm animals, try using the emote to call them to you. Ready to give it a go? That's the spirit. Head on over to your farm and use the wave emote near any of your registered farm animals. Okay. All right, all right, I'm gonna head back to our um, house. Actually, I'm gonna collect some of these weeds too while we're here. All right, you guys, so I ended up coming back to the uh, coop, so let's go ahead and try to use this. Put in some fibers, and then um, we're going to go back. Can we add like more? Oh, okay, we can't. Okay. Let's pet. Oh, I love it, you guys. I'm so glad we have our first animal. Okay, I'm gonna head back to Loretta and see um, if we've unlocked anything else. Or should I maybe go to sleep because it's getting late and I think the game will kind of make me go to sleep. You know what, I'm gonna risk it and I'm just gonna go back to Loretta and see if 
um, we have anything else that we can unlock. Hi! Thanks. I'm glad you were able to clear out those thorns. You're such a quick le learner, Lucy Games. I can already tell that you're going to make a fantastic rancher. I'm glad Eddie sent you our way. Things have been a little cold between us since he quit the family business for the sea. Eddie's always a bit of a contrarian, but he has a good heart and will always put others first. You should probably go back and tell him about your new Chiku and tell him his sister loves him. Aww. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna go tell Eddie the progress. Oh, hey, Lucy Games. Have you been exploring yet? Island's got a lot of old secrets. Ready for the finding? <laughs> Hello there. Now, which is the tastiest fish of all? Lucy Games, I left out an important bit about the sinking of my poor Grace. The whirlpool that took her was a magical whirl whirlpool. So really, that should be of little surprise to anyone on this island. We seem to attract the strongest magical phenomenon. No one is really sure about when the whirlpool started, but I've been tracking them and I've noticed that they all start out at the beach with the entrance to the old saltwater mines. I bet my last sand dollar that whatever is causing the whirlpool is shut away in the mine. I'd go check it out myself, but the mines are locked ever since Cleo managed to wrangle all of the jumbles in there. Oh, jumbles are the objects that got animated by the wild magic. One day, my steering wheel just rolled off and attacked me. It was wild, but we managed to get them all into the mines. I saw what you did with that magical staff of yours. Maybe, just maybe, you could handle some jumbles as well. You'll need to if you're going to find any source of whirlpools. Hmm. You're going to need the key to the saltwater mines first. Go and find Cleo and tell her Eddie sent you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep and just make it the next day. Because I'm afraid, like, the, um, I'm afraid that the game is going to kick me out and, like, make it the next day. Because I think that there is a cutoff. It kind of reminds me of Stardew Valley, although I've never played, but I have watched a lot of gameplay on it. Uh, and so I think that it kind of kicks you out at a certain time if you um, don't make it back to your bed. And I don't know if there's, like, a consequence, like, if you're out too late. Uh, I know in Stardew Valley, there's kind of a consequence if you're kind of out wandering a little bit too late. So I'm going to head back to my house. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. We're at a new day. So in the next part, we'll kind of um, try to wave at the animal to get that quest completed. Um, and then we're going to do some other quests around town because we got to go meet Cleo and stuff. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we can unlock the saltwater mines hopefully in the next part and see what's in there. But like I said, I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you all very soon.